Welcome to the PPD 1 third video interpreting prescriptions. Today I'm going to go over the importance of entering prescriptions and really what to look out for, tips and tricks on when you enter them, how to make sure that the patients will understand what your prescriptions say. So the first thing is make sure you know your SIG codes. You practice them on the Blackboard quizzes and just really go over them. Now I'll give you two examples here. If you want to pause the video and interpret those, I'll go over them at the end. So the first thing here is some data entry tips. Always specify your route whenever you're putting, uh, entering prescriptions. Always specify, is it by mouth? Is it a suppository? Is it rectally? An injection? Make sure that you're specifying this. You don't want patients to be eating suppositories or spraying their inhalers out into the open and trying to to get the medication that way and these things have happened so this is really important spell your numbers out people will get two or eight or three mixed up with each other a lot of people sometimes can't see well so just spell them out it's a lot easier for people to read uh, teaspoonful not teaspoon some people get this mixed up with table tablespoon so if you put teaspoonful make sure they'll know that and then don't be vague you know, could your grandma understand it or could any lay person understand what's on your label and, and use those instructions? Just make sure you're being specific. Let's go over some examples. First one here is for Pro Air Inhaler. If you read this straight off the script, it's going to say take two puffs daily every four hours as needed before exercise for a half an hour. Now that's nice, you know, you interpret it and that's what it says, but really what does a patient need to know? They need to know do you inhale two puffs once every four hours. Take a pause here. Take as needed 30 minutes before exercising. So the important things we're missing is the route and then really that pause so that the patient knows, you know, this this really sounds confusing up here. So this really is specific and they're knowing that, okay, I'm only taking this as needed. 30 minutes before exercise, but I'm supposed to do it every four hours. So make sure you have those. Be clear, concise, and understandable to anyone. There's another example, very common with antibiotics that are liquid. Putting to take one teaspoon full, like we said, and really writing out that one. So you can take a look here and, and just understand that when you get these liquids, people will get teaspoon and tablespoon mixed up. The third example here, uh, very common with with topicals. Some doctors will just write apply as directed. Well, you know, either of these examples, apply to skin as directed, apply to, yeah, this does have the route, which is good, but really all, both of these are not acceptable. You want to talk to the patient and make sure that they know where they should be applying it. And you want to possibly contact the doctor if it's this vague and make sure that you get where they're applying it. Now sometimes the patients will already know and they'll tell you how big the area is so you can ask them. So they'll know, you'll know and they'll know if one large tube is enough. They come in various tube sizes so you can check these things. Just don't be vague and don't put take as needed or take as directed if that's what the doctor put on there because some patients will have no idea what that means. And to conclude the video, let's go back up and see what the interpretations of these are. This one would be two tablets by mouth every four to six hours as needed for nausea and vomiting. So take two tablets by mouth every four to six hours as needed for nausea and vomiting. And then this one here is another common one that can be mistaken with the OD versus the AD. Remember, O is ophthalmic, so this is by eye, one drop into the eyes, and the D is dexter. What the, the D stands for is right, the right eye. S would stand for sinister, which is the left eye. The AD can be mistaken sometimes for the OD because A stands for your auditory or your ear. And then QHS every evening. So make sure you know these because they're going to look very similar on a lot of scripts. Thank you for your time. And if you want to continue watching the rest of the videos, they're just going to build on each other.